In this video, I will show you a solving strategy that can be used to go from bond line structures to uh, structural formulas, or it can be used for reading bond line structures. So since bond line structures will be used throughout the whole uh, course, then you should know at each, uh, at each point in this structure, for example, how many carbons do we have and how many uh, hydrogens do we have at each carbon. So how do we do this? Simply to read a bond line structure, just put a carbon at any terminus or vertex. So for example, if I want to go over these examples, this is a terminal point, this is a vertex, so I can replace them by a carbon, single bond, carbon, carbon. So each vertex can be replaced by a carbon and each terminus also can be replaced by a carbon. So for example, in this compound, I have five carbons. Let's move on to the second one. Again, we have C here and C here. So just copy the bond, uh, bonds as they are. Now here we have an oxygen, so we cannot put a carbon. So I'll just put oxygen and then single bond this is a vertex, so carbon goes here, double bond, and we have N here, so just put an H as it is, and then we have C goes here. We can do the last one, so we have point here, so this is C, another C, another C here, triple bond, another C here, and then C, B, R, and then C. How do we know the number of hydrogens? Simply to know the number of hydrogens, subtract four minus number of bonds plus charges. So if you have charges, we will see this in the upcoming slide. Um, you have to include them in your calculations. So for example, in, in this case here, we have, we have this carbon here, or this carbon here, we have four, minus, we just have one bond, so four minus one, that's a three. And that's why we have CH3 here. At this carbon here, we have four minus a three bond, so that's one, and that's why we just have one H here. Again, this is CH3 at, oh, by the way, I forgot to put a double bond here. Okay, so we don't have a hydrogen here. At this carbon, which is here, we have one, two, three bonds, three bonds, so one hydrogen is left. Four minus three is one. At this carbon here, we have three H's because we have only one bond. Same thing applies for this one, CH3, CH3, CH. This is an oxygen, nothing changes. Carbon, this carbon has one, two, three, four bonds. So it has four bonds, so no hydrogens at this carbon here. And this last one has three hydrogens. Let's move on to the last example. This is a carbon with one bond, so four minus one, that's three, so H3. This is a carbon with two bonds, so this one, second one. So four minus two, that's two, we just have H2. This carbon already has four bonds. This carbon already has four bonds, so no hydrogens here. This carbon here has three bonds, two bonds with carbon, one bond with bromine, so four minus three, that's one. So we have H here, and then we have H3 here. This is how we read bond line structures. Let's take more examples, including charges. Find the number of hydrogens at the labeled carbon. So first of all, we know that this is a carbon, this is a carbon, 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 carbon here. The question is, how many hydrogens do we have at each carbon? Okay, and we did this before, so I'm going to do this quickly. This is a CH3, this is a C, CH3, double bond, CH, CH3. So this is exactly as the previous one. Let's take a look at this example, which is here. So at this green point or this green carbon here, we have, so we have a carbon here, carbon, carbon, and carbon. So if I just copy the carbons, they will look like that. Now I have to add the hydrogens. At this carbon here, we have two bonds, so four minus two, that's two, and that's why we have CH2 here. 
at this carbon here we already have three bonds so four minus three that's one and that's why we just have one hydrogen here now pay attention to this carbon it at this carbon here we have two bonds so four minus we have two bonds and we have a charge it doesn't really matter if this charge is negative or positive so four minus two plus a charge we have one charge so that's four minus three that's one and that's why at this carbon here we have a hydrogen we just have one hydrogen regarding this carbon which is here we just have one bond so four minus one that's three and that's why this is a ch3 let's look at this example here again we have carbons at these points so these are the carbons at this carbon we have two h's one h again look at this carbon which is here which is this one we have a positive charge so we have four minus we have three bonds plus one charge so the total is four minus four that's zero that's why this carbon doesn't have any hydrogen this one has three hydrogens and this one has two now if you are wondering why don't we have a hydrogen if we have a negative charge or a positive charge remember that such for example in this case here if your carbon which already has four dots is already making bonds with carbon from this side and carbon from that side this means that it has two dots to uh, uh, connect them to hydrogens if we don't have a if we don't have a negative charge then this means that those two dots will be connected to hydrogens such as in this case here for example where we ended up with h2 now if you have a negative charge this means that your carbon gained an electron so actually instead of a single dot we have a lone pair here and that's why we have a negative charge here and remember this lone pair will not make bonds so we just have one dot which is left to make a bond with hydrogen and that's why at this carbon here we only have one hydrogen and the same thing applies if we have a carbocation so for example in this case here so we have a carbon which is bonded to a carbon carbon and carbon so we already used three of the four dots now this dot is left however since we have a positive charge at this carbon here this means that our carbon lost one electron if it lost one electron this means that this doesn't exist anymore and that's why we have a positive charge here and we don't have any electron any single electron to bond it to hydrogen and that's why at this point we don't have a hydrogen you can practice and try to um draw the products or uh, draw the uh, structural formulas uh, of these compounds starting from the uh, those bond line structures so you can stop a video the video for some time try to draw the structures and then check your answer i will draw the answers quickly so this is a ch3 bonded to a c double bond ch2 ch CH3 just use the previous method which I used to do this same thing applies here so this is a CH3 CH CH3 CH2 C double bond O O CH3 so these are the structures now you can you can keep the structures as they are or you can expand the structure by drawing all bonds this is the end of this video and this is how we convert bond line structures into structural formulas or vice versa.